59 years ago, the Lord saw it fit to bless Alfred Mitchell, that would be his father, and Myrtle Mitchell, and they welcomed a baby bouncing boy into the world. And so we just want to thank God right now for Pastor Paul B. Mitchell. Now you can stand. We want to thank God that he saw it fit to have him be a part of this world, his plan, his purpose. In life, we're not our own. You don't belong to yourself, Deacon. Your children don't belong to you. We are mere vessels. We're conduits to bring the purpose of the Lord in the world. And that's what the Lord did with Pastor Paul B. Mitchell. He saw before the time, before time, he carved him out as he would always bless our young people, our young children. And in, time, in eternity, he decided that this young man, and we still say young man, come on everybody. I'm a little calm, it's okay. But this young man to be our pastor. And so today we wanna just send you some mes a message from a few people. They're people that you really admire, you love, and you respect. And we just want to thank God that we have this opportunity in front of your church family to just share with you, share in your birthday, and just allow for um, this to be just a wonderful day for you. And so right now we'd like to ask you to just uh, take the time and just view and hear and listen what the Lord has said through these beautiful people. God bless to everyone at Changing Lives Ministries, to Pastor Paul and Pastor Yasmin Mitchell and all the leaders that make up that wonderful body um, of believers. My name is Pastor Philip Thomas from the United Kingdom by way of uh, Bahamas. I'm out here right now ministering. That's why my wife is not with me. She's back home in London. But it's so good uh, to recognize and appreciate Pastor Paul Mitchell on his birthday. What an awesome occasion it really is. And what an awesome time of celebration and recognition as we appreciate this wonderful gift, Pastor Paul Mitchell, to the body of Christ and also to that precious body of believers. And I want to say, Thank you, uh, Pastor Paul, for being a, an example to all of us, uh, a role model to so many, and for making the strides and impact that you really, really have. I am just so glad uh, that I can bring this video um, to you and just say, uh, just continue being you and thank you and uh, enjoy your day. Try not to eat too much birthday cake, <laughs> uh, but have an awesome occasion and certainly celebrate. And I know as a person of excellence that you will do it in great, great style. And I also want to say that the best is yet to come. And as great uh, as you have achieved so far, greater is going to come. So God bless you. Heaven smile on you. And I will see you soon. Happy birthday. God bless. Only God can choose who you will interact with during your lifetime. Many times you, we think we're making that kind of choice, but indeed, in fact, it's, it's orchestrated by God when you meet and you interact with certain people who are anointed, appointed, and who are wonderful in their attitudes towards God and towards their fellow man, and in particular, in this case, me. So. I want to wish the Apostle Paul Mitchell a very happy, happy birthday. And I am so glad that all of you marvelous and wonderful saints and friends have decided to give him just a birthday that is fitting for someone who works diligently in the Word, works diligently in administration, to make your life better and to make the community better. And we thank God for his lovely wife and for her contributions to causing him to be so healthy and wonderful at such a time as this. So,
to the Apostle Paul Mitchell, I say happy, happy birthday. And I know God's going to bless you with many, many more for our sake. God bless you. Celebrate. Happy birthday to you. We've got one more. Brother Carmani. And we got to take it back. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord Birthday.